for our rural health care providers, they uh, sprang into action. And I thought it was going to be weeks before we saw a product just due to how far away it is and all the difficulties we've had with transportation and getting uh, products out of customs. Um, I think it was four days after uh, Representative Chu made that initial uh, contact to Taipei and the masks were here um, in our warehouse. Uh, Idaho Office of Emergency Management, we're really, really just super grateful for United Way um, for being our partner in this um, because we just uh, don't have the, the ties in the community like you guys do to manage all these donations and the goodwill and generosity of the people of Idaho that come in. So we're extremely grateful uh, for your partnership during this entire uh, endeavor or marathon or pandemic, whatever we're calling it right now. Um, and we certainly couldn't have done all the great work um, without your help. So thank you, huge thank you to United Way. Um, huge thank you to uh, Representative Chu um, for making this happen. So we just certainly couldn't have, wouldn't have even known about this opportunity if it wasn't for you. So thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Sue, Yvonne, any words of wisdom? Go ahead, Representative. You know, I, I think it's so very important because uh, Taiwan, we knew, uh, was able to be very proactive. And so they didn't really have a curve to, to crunch. It was it's like this. And since they're manufacturers for these products, uh, and also the thing, too, is that it's so important, I think, uh, with the messaging uh, that's so xenophobic to be able to counter that. And so I think the best way to do it is just get on with our, our work and really show people our hearts. Mm -hmm. So I think that's probably been pretty big. Yeah, thank you for your leadership. Yes. Avon? Um, so Avon Ketchum Ward, I'm with the Primary Care Association representing all the health centers in Idaho. We go all the way from North Idaho to the East, 198,000 patients, most of which 92% are under 200% of the poverty level and 50% are under 100% of the poverty level. Most don't have insurance, and if they are insured, it's Medicare or Medicaid or high deductible plans. So this means everything to our clinics. They work on a, on a shoestring, and so anytime we can get a donation, and we'll be delivering these statewide, um, it helps them spend those dimes somewhere else where care is needed. So thank you to Representative Chu and the Department of Health and Welfare in the United Way for making this happen. And for Terry Riley and FMRI for really making the magic happen yes. at the back end. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Thank, and thank you for talking to Go forth and do magic. <laughs> All right.